What's up, guys? Welcome to the SUP Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Chris Cheney. Across from me virtually, we have my two partners in crime, Lawrence Deloach. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. And Luke Trevisi. Supreme Mike Comedy. What's up, everybody? The supreme <laughs> ringleader of this <laughs> podcast. Look at him. Don't, don't hide that E. Let that E live. <laughs> yeah, I, I there did, we go. I did my first show with this, actually. No, you didn't. Did, Where? You, uh, I did a show on Thursday in Bushwick, and then on Saturday I did a stand-up New York. It was a Filipino show. The Filipino show fucking loved it. <laughs> okay. They were all in. They were all like, we want more of this guy. Give him an hour. <laughs> okay. The Brooklyn show was like, why is this guy trying to flex on me while he's on stage telling dick jokes? I don't like it. So I did. It did get to a point where I did turn the mic around. <laughs> yeah, you did. You turned it on the Bush Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. That's yeah, very funny. I'm good. <laughs> well, that's what's up. Um, I mean, let's just get right into it, guys. Let's let's get sports. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, uh I can't believe the NBA Finals are still going on. Uh, I mean, it just feels weird having the NBA Finals in you know mid October. That's that's first thing. You know, yes, first. that's true. Yeah. Um, you know, and then, you know, in the circumstances that it's in, it's in, you know, in a, in a bubble in Florida, it just makes everything feel weird. But, you know, we, we watched game five uh, on Friday and it was one of uh, one of the best games, you know, probably in the entire bubble with the intensity that I had and Jimmy Butler and LeBron going back and back and back and back and back and back and forth and forth and forth and forth. And, forth and, forth and uh, it's supposed to be back and forth, but I just want to do that and um now we got game six tonight uh sunday and i'm, I'm really excited hopefully the lakers close it out so yeah yeah me too i hope they i i nail in the coffin's not even the right term but like yeah just finish this off but jimmy butler is officially the man to me yeah he's, yeah he's that guy man um i was saying uh off mic before we started that like the, the way i used to like not hate but like hate lebron when he was on the Cavs playing the celtics like i have that same feeling towards Jimmy Butler just because he's the fucking man and I'm uh -huh. mad about it uh -huh. knocking people out I know yeah he's uh he's killing it man and I think that's uh that's uh it's it's awesome for Jimmy Butler to finally be in like the national line like, he's always been a talented player since he came in the league uh you know he's been a little misunderstood he's this is like I think his fourth team Chicago Minnesota Philly uh, and this is Miami, and people just kind of misunderstood him his entire career. But he just shows – he just wants to win, and he's willing yeah. to do whatever it takes to win. And I think that's what, you know, put like, – like I said, man, hopefully, you know, this makes Jimmy Butler like a household name, you know? Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Mm -hmm. Definitely deserves it. Very hardworking guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I suggest watching videos of him and Kevin Hart doing a three-point contest, and he used his left hand. It was hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> that is really funny. Yo, what the hell is happening with the Patriots? Did they well, they postpone their game? Well, we didn't even we we yeah well oh yeah yeah no that's all good. I mean, if you guys you, we could we could pivot to football. Football is, is is crazy in itself because teams are popping up left and right with COVID. You know, we, there's uncertainty in terms of games being postponed. I mean, we're almost reporting this live, but Dak Prescott's out now. His ankle just got fucked up, and he's done finally for the season. Wow. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, I'm very unfortunate, um, you know, with Dak Prescott for, you know, for, like you said, for his ankle to yeah. tw uh, twist the way it twisted, you know, really, um, yeah, it's very unfortunate. Um, yeah, I, I, with the Patriots, yeah, the Patriots game is being postponed for a following week between them and the Broncos. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a Tuesday night game between the Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans. We don't know if that game is even going to – um happen because if there's a positive COVID test between uh you know tomorrow or I believe you know or, or the day of I believe they they're going to cancel the game so I mean you know it's just so it's, it's a lot man yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. going back to basketball just for one second yeah. um I was going to say one of the other things that we got out of that uh the series is uh we got to see on feet the uh, flea market dunks that um, I haven't seen. A, this is these are I hate flea market for the most part, but like these are actually really nice. Hold on, I'm trying to pull them up. 
Um, you're talking about for the, for the listeners out there. You're talking about the cactus plant. Yes. Uh, uh, flea market uh, dunks. Uh, basically, we we got tees. Uh, LeBron was wearing a pair of them, and then we saw a lot better uh, image. Uh, Kylie Jenner had a pair. Mm-hmm. Which I hate uh, how sometimes she's the one we get the better image from, but you know what are you gonna do? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, now, now, I mean, obviously, you know, not everyone's gonna be one to wear some bedazzled type of, uh, you know, dunks, but at the same time, I mean, the, the hype on these are gonna be uh, insane. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be really insane. Uh, people are gonna go fucking crazy for for these, and I think we we've seen it before with cactus plant. You know, we've seen it with you know whether it's blazers, vapor max, uh, air force ones. Uh, people love the brand. Yeah. Um, Juice so I, is a, Juice is a big fan. He loves everything Cynthia does. Our uh, one of our our previous guests, Juice uh, Foster, he loves. Yeah, he's a big uh, cactus plant. Uh, uh, fan i think the dunks are actually i mean like i said it's just you know we're we're in that year of you know dunks and everything that we're seeing is pretty you know it's gonna be pretty hyped i i think they're not a bad pair yeah um yeah. you know what i you know what i kind of like about them is that usually i'm like pro story mm-hmm. like pro like what was the inspiration like wh- how, how was the tr- release but like the way these kind of were just like yo, you just get some shiny ass dunks like some bedazzled junk dunks i'm kind of like all right i'm, I'm mm-hmm. kind of with that that's what's mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. just throw these out mm-hmm. i like that they have a like they look like they have a little bit of a fat tongue and i'm a big fan of the fat tongue on dunks so yeah i mean that's the true to skate shit mm-hmm. you know what i mean Mm-hmm. Oh, could you imagine skating in these? That would be a nightmare. You'd have diamonds popping off and hitting people in the face. Yeah, but I bet these like used would look kind of fire. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, like that whole fucking toe box just ripped up on the outside like that. That's true. Hold on. But yeah, no, these are fucking. I like these a lot. I mean, I would never wear them, but I do like them a lot. For I sure. would love to see you at a show wearing these. No, you wouldn't. I I would love to see me <laughs> in a show wearing these. You like yes, you would love to. You would also like a matching like leather jacket. Yeah, a bedazzled jacket. Yeah, exactly. Remember when they used you used to be able to buy the kit? I think my sister had that kit, and then she like used to like fucking try to do the pattern on the back of her pants. Bro, you could still do that today. You could you could buy one of those. We could get one on Amazon. If you subscribe to our Patreon, we'll buy one and I'll start bedazzling shit, guys. I'm just bedazzling. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta plug that Patreon, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you good over there? I'm good. I was just uh, right, cool. just having some technical issues. Can you, you guys can hear me properly, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah we can okay. hear you great. Yeah, you're good. Right. Um, Lawrence, would you wear these? Flea markets? I, I, I would. I actually, I think they're that wild, man. I, I would. Uh, I listen. The wilder the sneaker, sometimes the better, man. I actually fuck with those. I do like these a lot. I would never wear them, but I would like. I don't know if I would. Yeah, I guess I want to own them. I would just never wear them. Nah, you'd wear, you'd wear the shit out of them, dude. You're full of shit. <laughs> You're full of shit. You'd wear them everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. But it, I, I can't wait for like, cause you know, those like, I'm not even gonna say corny, but there's like those, um, those weird Instagram accounts that like will skate in like skate shoes that aren't supposed to be skated in like this. I just want to see what they look like after. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I'm telling you diamonds popping off. It's gonna, you're going to have like a bunch of people in the crowd just getting hit in the face. I'm trying to think what if, I mean, have I worn any shoes with like bedazzled, you know, like jewelry piece i don't think i have i've in the Um, history of no go in the history of sneakers i'm just trying to think i haven't really i think of anything i'm trying to think just like weird materials that i've worn that i mean yeah i don't know if i've worn like a jeweled out one like that Mm -hmm. uh Mm -hmm. tennis ball material Mm -hmm. basketball material yes me too yeah I don't know. Actually, yeah, that's weird. Oh, well, you know what? Reebok did have, when I was working there, they did come out with, like, these disco ball joints. Mm-hmm. So it was similar to, like, how it was bedazzled, but it looked more like a disco ball than it did, like, a Swarovski piece or something. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's the closest, but I didn't even really – I think I wore those once, and then I was like, I don't like these. 
they're a little impractical. Yeah, I was like a little bit like, yeah, I'm not. This isn't. This is not me. I'm not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but now this is your character arc. Now you can be this guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll let you have him, Luke. This is this is another thing that I'll let you no, have if we get no, access no. to him. No, if we get access to him, I'm giving him to Lawrence. <laughs> I want so Lawrence to shine. This isn't the only. Well, this isn't. You know, we talked about like. This the first look was you know in the in the NBA bubble of uh, you know seeing we we've seen a few uh, debut of sneakers or a lot of you know we saw a lot of Kobe player issues uh, mm-hmm. in, in the bubble we saw Anthony Davis has some gold uh, Kobe fives uh, there's the um, what is it? there's a uh, was it the five rings I believe they're coming out uh, they're the blue and yellow uh, Kobe fives I'm excited to see uh, you know what the, the what sneakers are, are on display tonight in game six, man? You guys got any predictions? Anything you think Anthony Davis is going to break anything out new or he or what? Maybe those, uh, actually, I don't know. It, you know, it's hard to say just because, like, they, they usually get the stuff first. So a lot of the times, like, it's hard to guess because, like, they debut it, which is a nice rollout that I didn't think about, you know, right. like seeding to LeBron for the. You think he gets paid to do that sometimes? I mean, as a Nike Absolutely. athlete. Absolutely. Uh, or do you think it's in his contract? You have to debut like X amount of sneakers. To, like, I don't. I don't know. I don't think he gets. I don't think like if he gets paid to wear. I don't think so. I would just think that he just know, gets like, being a Nike athlete and being yeah, he's getting seated shit. You know. I think it just benefits him as probably he probably has some investment in stock or something, and like him wearing the shoes probably helps with the. Uh, Stock prices. Yeah, I mean, you know, so look at it like this. If, you know, remember Nike when LeBron first came, he got a nine million dollar contract. I'm yep. sure, you know, it's not like they're like, hey, LeBron, we're gonna pay you, you know, ten grand to wear these. Like, it's just part of, you know, everything that goes on with, you know, him being an athlete. I'm predicting. Uh, I'm predicting Danny Green wearing a brick colored uh, Air Force One. A brick colored Air Force One. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You know, what? Uh, 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 <laughs> he's getting death threats bro like, yeah his it's, family, it's getting, it's getting yeah. sad out here for him mm-hmm. it's not fun i wonder so if my if nike was smarter because there's rumors that um they're gonna sample this or i mean retro the south beach colorway next year mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now would be a great time for him to walk it's the finals hopefully the final game you know you know you know you hope mm-hmm. every final once you have three wins you hope every game the next game is the final game but you know, where's the South Beaches? Maybe like his old pair or whatever, just to walk in. Mm-hmm. Now I'm just thinking about NBA timed out rollouts. That's kind of fire. Yeah, you like the idea of that? Yeah, just adding that to like the the whole story of the shoe. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm a fucking nerd. Um, you are. <laughs> that would shit would be tight though if he rolled. I'm hoping he wears the South Beach then, because yeah, I guess uh, next year they're supposed to retro them. Spring 2021. It would be a weird, weird diss too, to be playing South Beach in South Beaches. Yeah. Oh, see, layers. <laughs> Yo, the layers. It's like an onion in here. <laughs> what about you, Al? Do you have any predictions? Um, I mean, in terms of what he's wearing on court. Yeah. Uh, he's probably just gonna wear the 18s or, or whatever. Yeah. You know. Realistically, yes. Yeah. Would you guys say that the South Beach colorway is LeBron's Concord? I I would say it's the most iconic, most known colorway that LeBron has because it's the most unique colorway that he's ever had. Yeah. I mean, were you guys around for that sneaker or or Yeah. I was around, but I still I was kind of again like I loved to hate LeBron. And I also, that carried over to his sneakers because that's like, it was not around here, but like soon after they got like too technical for me and they look like Gundam parts. Mm-hmm. But um, that's where I jumped on. Yeah, yeah, def- of course that's where you jumped on. <laughs> of course that's where you jumped on. But yeah, I was around, but it wasn't like in my radar per se. Yeah, I was also around. I remember, I remember the craze to get, like, I remember like my friends being all crazy trying to get them. But I, I was also somebody who was like, I, I'm not really like I don't play basketball like that, so I don't need shoes. I don't need like South Beaches. Was that was that oh nine? 
2010. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was, uh, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I just remember South Beach, man. It, 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 the sneaker ha itself had hype, but when it, when it dropped, it seemed like after everything, it just like snowballed. Like that's one of the first sneakers that I can remember where the, the resell on that was, you know, close to four figures. If that, yeah. like, yeah. I can literally remember, um, I can literally remember what's the best way to describe it. Um, my boy was going to get me a pair and I was like, ah, I'm good. And then next thing you know, the shoe was like $900 in a, in a matter of a couple months. Um, it, it, it just, it was one of those shoes that's that really started like people saying, Oh man, I can make money off of, off of, um, off of reselling. Yeah. Because you know, you got to realize this, the 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 Yeezys came out. The first Nike Yeezy came out in two thousand nine, and they were hitting resale prices of around five hundred dollars, five six hundred dollars. Yeah. When the South Beaches came out, those eclipsed that, you know, and and because it was such a unique colorway, and and I I think you know, and I think it also had that there was an era where people would wear Nike ba basketball sneakers as le leisure wear, like they would wear it as like you know. That you're going to the club and some KDs. Yes. So I think that, you know. What is that? Oh, it's got to be coming from. It might be an ad. Yeah. That was, that was an ad. That was, uh, that was my fault, guys. I apologize. We're all, <laughs> it's okay. We're no, all you're, you're good. I'm like looking at all my tabs open. I'm like, oh, am I fucking up real bad here? No, but we're all right. We're no, I, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. But no, I just remember it being uh, one of the. Uh, it was just the fucking, it, it was an insane shoe, man, that, you know, that I don't think, well, that, that caused the span of like, you know, like a year late, a couple of years later, you had like the, the galaxy foams and, mm -hmm. and all these other sneakers, but yeah, that South Beach, man. Now, granted, I think, you know, it's still going to be a head turn. People are still, but obviously no one's paying what they paid for the South Beaches now. Yeah. You know, back yeah. like they did back then, but. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, they, if, if Nike legitimately brings back, like, the Grinch, the, the Kobe Grinch uh, sixes and then the South Beach eights, you know, next year. Like, is – so I don't, know, I don't even know how to, like, categorize these because you brought up the Grinches. I was actually going to ask, is, like, is this the equivalent? Is that, like, Kobe's, like, unique, weird colorway? Not the Concards were really that weird, but I feel like that's one of the most prominent Jordan colorways besides Chicago. Well, I think I think the Concord's just in, took it on its own life because of the materials. It's yes. a basic black yeah, and white shoe, but you know when you add patent leather to a shoe, that you know that's like that was unique in the '90s, and I think you know, and then now people, you know, everyone, you that's a you can wear that. People get married in those shoes. Yeah. you know, I've always I've always said that so people get married, people go to court, you know, people go on job interviews in, in that shoe, people go to funerals in that shoe. Um, the Grinches, I think that's like Kobe's most iconic colorway. It's like, yeah. you know, it, it's something. And then the same thing with the South Beach because it's, su it's such a unique thing, man, where it's just unique. It's fucking, you know, so yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I think those, uh, I, I wonder, you know, I was just watching some LeBron, uh, like his first, the first game he ever played in the NBA against the Kings. And I remember he, um, he fucking, um, he was wearing the, the the Zoom Generation ones, and I'm like, oh man, they got to they got to retro those first games again. And, and I think they did, but I think you know LeBron, they need to get retro more, man. Yeah, he's at the point where his career, where the, his legacy is sort of uh, at like yeah, like those moments, like first game. Uh, yeah. You could even do like the return shoe, like whatever he was wearing when he first got back to Cleveland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all these moments are definitely. I don't want to say. Uh, monetizable but like for lack of a better term like those can be used in these storylines he's at the point where yeah he's not getting enough love like that you're right l that's yeah, a great I, observation i agree but i i also think you know when we say he's not getting enough love i think what happens is a lot of time uh a, a, when i he doesn't get enough love i think people just don't wear those sneakers for fucking you know it's it's basketball. lifestyle 
Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, you know, it's, it's lifestyle, man. It's, it's, you know, they can't, I don't want to say they fucked up, but it, it really started with Kobe as far as like their premier athletes, just making a pure basketball shoe. Cause Jordan, had always doubled. Yeah. You can wear them both on court, off court, whatever. But it was it, like, I don't even know what number it was, but yes, Kobe started really. You couldn't, I'm trying to think of a model number because his Adidas, you could wear off court. And they were right. fine. But the second he went to Nike, they sort of were like, all right, we're making you the, sh- the performance shoe. And it carried over. Yeah, even, like, the uh-huh. campaigns for, like, what was uh, what was the – he had the uh, – the what do you call it? That triangle system that was fucking – Oh, hilarious. the Kobe system was, was, was yes. one of my favorite yes. commercials ever. Was, yes. Like Kanye West. But that was, like, a performance shoe. Like, it was being sold as, like, a performance shoe. The whole thing was, like, to perform better than you've ever performed before. And that was like in two thousand nine, ten. You realize? I mean, let's just let's just call a spade a spade. I mean, every Nike lifestyle shoe was invented circa two thousand. Yeah, before two thousand. Yeah, no, uh, between eighty five and two thousand, that's their entire lifestyle. So like it, it's, a, it's a performance shoe, but it's still a it's still a uh, it's a it's a lifestyle shoe. So, yeah. you know, we look at you know Air Force Ones, Dunks, Jordans. You know, Jordan One through Thirteen, phone posits, everything with the that people wear now for you know for lifestyle is was back in the days. Like like I said, man. I, I th- we had a stretch where, you know, Kevin Durant's were, you know, like I said, dudes was in the club with KD Weatherman, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me. Air Force One was 82. I thought that was also yeah. 85, but I 80, was incorrect. 82. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, that's that's really funny to think about. Um, that is a good point. Everything was made before 2000. Yeah. I will give Jordan and Nike some credit now, though, because they are getting better about making more wearable stuff on and off court now. So, like, I mean, the Jordan 35? Jordan? Huh? Yeah, look at that thing. We're, you guys were shitting on me for, like, in the Fragment one, but even then, it's just, like, it's just such a weird shoe. It's, like, a very weird lifestyle shoe. But I think it's more... It's more lifestyle than the, like, even the 33, 33, 34, and 35 from Jordan actually can be worn off court and not look wild. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll give you that. The 33, I think that was the one Travis Scott did the collaboration on. And that one, I could yeah. see being more of a, that one's definitely more of a lifestyle shoe. 34, I, I don't see it around a lot. And this 35, I don't know, man. It just, it really does look like just a wheel. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like all these, like they're not, like like I like they're not for us to like you know. And, and you gotta realize, Jordan ones weren't for people to wear at the club. You know, it was, I mean, granted, it it, it kind of, it took on its own lifestyle, but it don't took it. But yeah. you know, that's for that was for it's supposed to be for athletes. You know, and and it's like a pair of Yana, it's like a pair of Greek Freak. Like these are Nike has continued to innovate the wheel. And I think as that happens, it goes from more of like, it's just a rubber sole or whatever, like a dunk to now it's like, oh, this has a Zoom pylon, TPU, triple lace sole. <laughs> Power you utility know? shift. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like you ain't wearing that shit. You ain't wearing that shit to the, like, you know, to chill on a block. Like you actually like playing ball with that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So I'm, I'm just looking at the past five. So I went from 31 all the way to now. And, yeah. um, they, they're more. The later ones are less wearable, but they're, these ones are all kind of back to the lifestyle roots a little bit. I mean, especially the thirty-one, because thirty-one was just a reinvention of the one. But um, I guess the, the thirty-five is the craziest one. But they're still not even that bad. But when you look at the thirty, where they had like the triple X in the back, that mm-hmm. one was crazy. You can't on court. You even look wild in that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you guys also, um, when that was that shoe was coming out, just Google Jordan XXX because they were using the Roman numerals, and then all of a sudden your screen would be like wild crazy of shit you're not supposed to be looking at. No, <laughs> no, nope. nope, just yeah, I definitely did that. I definitely, I, I think I, 
I was work. I was working somewhere, and I I just googled Jordan XXX, and all of a sudden there was like a flashing red screen, like get off these websites, and I was like, oh shit, my I, no, it's a sneaker. I didn't mean. It. Sorry. Just, just you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just me. Just you. I think you were subconsciously trying to see something. I no no <laughs> no yeah Jordan thirties. Yeah. But what about what about Vapor Maxes? Vapor Maxes were kind of in the past, but that you know we could nitpick and find like models here and there that have become kind of lifestyle shoes yeah i mean you know i think um i'm yes and no yeah i get what you're saying but like i've seen i've seen enough like i've seen a couple people wearing vapor maxes as like lifestyle shoes as opposed to like running shoes but yeah again it's not really you know vapor yeah. maxes look like you're walking on tide pods like i'm not with that I think, yeah. and honestly, I'm going to be honest, I've purchased a pair of Vapor Maxes for, uh, it was, it was definitely for like a, like leisure, like, you know, walking and, you know, I just, and I, and they were some, to me, some of the most uncomfortable sneakers. I, that's what I've heard. Yeah. They're so uncomfortable to me. I did not enjoy wearing those at all. I, it got so bad that I intentionally popped the bubbles so I can take them back to Nike and get a refund. Hell yeah. Wow. Yeah. I did, I did not like, I, I wore them for like months and I was just like. I'm trying, I'm giving these a shot. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. It just, it was not, it was not fun at all. So, um, yeah, man. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I want to kind of, uh, I want to talk a little bit about this because we always, I mean, somehow, some way, uh, baby Kanye, Travis Scott always gets mentioned on this podcast. And, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, you know, his, uh, his McDonald's meal was a, a success. It's a, a huge success, uh, and the and McDonald's uh, they're doing a collab with a lot of different, well, not a lot, but they're doing it with multiple uh, uh, celebrity artists who are getting their own McDonald's meal, and and uh, and Jay Balvin is uh, the next uh, celebrity, and his is what a Big Mac, medium fries, and an Oreo McFlurry. Oreo yeah. McFlurry, yeah. So. Um, I mean, I guess I wasn't privy to this, but Lawrence, you told me before that they're doing a series of these. I didn't realize that. I thought that Travis shit was a one-off. Um, so they're kind of doing like a good Friday drop situation, right? So one after another. Uh, yeah. So I suppose, yes, that's supposedly the, the rumor. Yep. Okay. I mean, what a good, this even is better than just the track. Like the Travis thing was a W I think we, I mean, we covered this to such ends but that was a win on every level but the fact now that like there's they can have this like residual rollout for like each month i don't know how they're doing it, it seems like monthly if they're going to do it but man that's such a good idea that is such a fucking good idea yeah i yeah i like this how much is this this is a this seems like a good deal honestly a big mac with an oreo mcflurry instead of a drink this one doesn't have like the value meal pricing like i guess that i guess the travis one was like a big enough like drop in price where i mean six bucks was good but it doesn't say here i don't know what the where the shit would be priced at but that's true oh, i wonder if it, i wonder if these are six dollar meals in general because i know the travis was priced at six dollars uh, i think what it does and I, I think this is very smart of mcdonald's i mean to attach yourself to different celebrities i mean i feel yeah. like i feel like that's you know that is uh you know these guys bring their own uh, fan base and people who are willing to maybe you know who are willing to try it out or go to McDonald's that you know they may not and then I also feel like if it's priced at a solid deal people look they you know we're in a pandemic where people are hurting struggling there they're gonna you know look for cheap or eats and where you can get some type of value out of it yo um, I would I would love to see the locks get a fish sandwich <laughs> oh man that that would be funny but uh I don't know who you know, who, who 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 has such a who's a artist that's big enough that can carry something like that that can actually um I don't know about Jay Balvin. This is the first I've ever heard of this dude. He, are you serious? Yeah, he's yeah. been around, man. He's been around, man. He's Maybe big. I've heard him in songs that I'm not aware of or he's been on some playlists and stuff, yeah. but like by name, I was like, Oh, I don't know this. Um mm -hmm. but yo, just <laughs> can you imagine Jada Kiss going like, yo, I got my fish sandwich at McDonald's. <laughs> The last guys are very uh, health conscious. I, I know. I, I believe Stout, like Stout's P has his own like juice bar. From what I he I've has heard. a juice bar, and he has a vitamin company, Pharmacy for Life. Yeah, those guys are very. Uh, so I don't know if you know if they're gonna be on the side of uh, 
Yeah, I want the Gunna meal so bad. <laughs> <laughs> what What would that be? That's just just that's just a lot of food. That's it. It's like three cheeseburgers and two fries and like like it's like a family meal, but for one guy. Hilarious. <laughs> Future yeah. has dirty Sprite. Oh shit, that'd be funny. Future. Uh, yeah, who who would? I mean, if you wanted to pivot out of J Balvin, uh, maybe you do like a you could do like a like a maybe they roll out like a vegan burger or something like you know an impossible burger for like a Gaga or an Ariana Ariana Grande like one of those two. No one he will always do. bring up Ariana Grande. Every Anytime time I, I get a chance, buddy. Anytime I get a chance. I don't do it every time, but when I can, I do. When you can, you do. I respect it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But those are like, you know, like I, I they're probably going to do like a female artist next just because, you know, somebody's going to be clamoring about that. It's like, why aren't there any ladies trying to get down with the fast food? You know, maybe Megan, Megan the Stallion. Um, a horse burger. <laughs> <laughs> stink, Luke. <laughs> I do stink. I'm the worst. <laughs> Lawrence doesn't have to say it. He just shakes his head. <laughs> horse burger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, <laughs> shit. God damn. Um, yeah, I don't know. We they, we could do this forever, but that, that that's a funny idea. I just figured out what meals people would have. Oh, yeah. shit. I mean, Lawrence, are you going to go to McDonald's and say Cactus Jet sent you for the Che Balfin meal? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not there. I feel like this is I feel like this is not at the same level at all. I like I don't know how, who else they have in this rollout, but well, like doing Travis to Jay Balvin, even in, if you guys know him, it's still not the same. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Jay Balvin's a huge uh Latin star, bro. Like he, yeah. like international. Like it's not just like I mean, I know Travis has a different pull because he he's in our our face all the time, but this guy is not like it's not like he's some small fry, bro. And I, and I as a play on words, like <laughs> oh, oh hell yeah, Yo, Yo, oh now. L's dropping bars this episode. <laughs> he ain't no, no small fry. He a medium fry minimum. But no, but all those aside, no, this guy had like he's yeah. I mean, I don't think McDonald's is gonna like uh, tie themselves to an you know someone who doesn't have some type of draw. And I think he definitely has a, uh, a draw. So you know. Yeah, he did a collab with Murakami before this. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he's pretty fucking big. I I will totally be ignorant here. I'm I'm I'll be the ignorant guy for sure. So yeah. I'll look this guy up and I'll try to learn about him. Try to see what his music is about. I promise you've listened to him before. Yeah, I mean, yeah I'm I must sure you have. have. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Um, this oh, week, huh? Oh, I was gonna say this week has been um, you know, uh, Jordan Brand has been on uh, in sneakers. They uh. They they've been restocking some uh, some of our our favorite Jordan uh, Jordans of the the season with their sneakers reserve or whatever it is restock reserve you know did, um, did you guys purchase anything or did you attempt to purchase anything? Um, you know I had an option to get the laser orange threes like that one came up and then there was another one uh, I don't remember what was the other one that came up like the grape fives which I already got. Um, I think those are like the two that came up and I thought about getting the orange ones, the laser orange. Really? All of them didn't come up for you? No. So the ones that came up, like it was the first day of it. I think it was, it was like, it was like four or five shoes, but like, those are the only ones I really remember was like the grape fives and, and the laser orange. Like the mm-hmm. ones that came out for me were not like the super hype ones. And then I missed the Jordan ones when they dropped. Gotcha. And that made me very sad because I wanted the core purples. Got you. I had put uh, the the ones that came out uh, for me, and, and and it was all you know. I didn't get it. it was, you know, nothing. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I was sleep on all that. Mm-hmm. The uh, yeah, the 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 I I know like the threes and the fives. All of those just sat for like I think like half the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was like, it, it came out around twelve, and then I checked around like three o'clock, and they were all gone. But like you know, you could have gotten your size in one of those for quite quite a little bit of time. But the Jordan ones, they they sold out in ten minutes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Of course, every time. Yeah, every time. 
Uh, and then there was the Off-White 4s that came out as well, which I did not get access to. Did you get access to, El? Nope. I did not get access to those, no. No. And a couple people, I, I've heard a couple people in our Discord did. Congratulations to those people. I don't know if they copped, but it, at least you, you, it felt good to be nominated. <laughs> yes, getting an invite to the party is always nice. Yes. Well, I'll say this. I, I feel like if you, uh, if, if you don't get them on the first shot, I mean, getting, getting uh, an opportunity on a restock is fucking just as hard or even harder, you know? It's, yeah. It, mm-hmm. You know, it's like... It's like that's how the game works. Um, we do have uh, this week. We have uh, the second chance at the uh, Union Jordan mm-hmm. Fours, sixteenth. Mm-hmm. Yep, uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully uh, getting my hands on a pair finally. Uh, and and that's about it, man. I don't know. Um, I don't know what else is coming out on sneakers. I don't really. I'm not paying attention much because the holiday season's coming up. Yep. And. Um, you know what I will say? Um, so I've only worn my guavas like four times maybe, but uh-huh. each time I've literally been stopped and then asked about them, whether the person like knows what the sneaker is or not. Like there was one dude who was like, yo, what are those? I was like, they're awful. Uh, I almost said off-white. They're union fours. He was like, yeah, but what are they? I was like, I don't know how to do. We're on the train. I'm not going to entertain this with you. <laughs> But I've been they've I've been stopped each time I've worn them. Yeah, man. There's uh I saw on the sneakers app they did like a little preview kind of like they talked about like the design choices for the shoe too. Yeah. Uh, and they originally went for like an off white color, mm-hmm. and it came out like that pinkish color, and they just kept it. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, some of it is very fascinating. Like they the- did it. They did a sneaker stash in um in South Central, mm-hmm. L.A. Uh, for the off for the I'm sorry for the uh, the Union Fours on sneakers and it sold it literally sold out in five minutes and and my 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 issue not my issue but I feel like uh, people have you know they spoof people spoof people you know they figure out ways around it and and Nike does not care it's like well we sold our shits you know what I'm saying and I think that's yeah. uh, it's a big problem yeah they're they're entire attitude is like look if it's not in our hands anymore we don't we don't give you know well one thing one thing that's weird and i don't know if like the the regular consumer knows this but like it is when you do a deal with a brand it is like very transactional in the way that like you the amount of pairs you get who's responsible for what and who gets what money so like say us three do a collab with adidas on whatever so we have to work out how like the quantity of all that and like how much we get to sell and how much money we get for advertising. Like there's so many mm-hmm. different things. So in that instance, uh, that was probably all left up to Union, mm-hmm. who probably has less. And now I'm just speculating. I, I don't know, but they probably have less resources to make sure the shit goes off smoothly than mm-hmm. say like Nike would with their whole camp. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's just it's just weird to think about that kind of stuff when people like get those back alley joints. You're like the fuck, but like how. It's a hard thing to manage these collaborative projects. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm. I'm like I said. I'm. I'm looking forward to it. I. I just feel like uh, Nike. I feel like just a lot of these retailers, and I, and that's a big to me. I mean, as a consumer, we're like, just give us a fair shot. Give us a fair shot. And then the yeah. the, the retailers are just like, we don't give a fuck. We just need to. We're just gonna sell them. Yeah. There's very few uh, places and stores that really have that online uh shops that really take some type of uh bot protection give you know obviously everyone's not going to get you know the goods you know you you know if there's a if it's five thousand shoes and you know um four hundred thousand people want you know you know obviously 350 whatever you're going to go home empty-handed but some places like i said like you know when you have the shopify stores and, and they're getting botted you know and, and and people are walking away with you know 20 pairs of shoes it's like you know it's a it's a problem man yeah, yeah. for sure mm-hmm. so I, I don't know i just feel like um yeah I'm, I, I don't know well hopefully you guys get them that's gonna be this friday the right? 16th yeah that's the friday and it'll be a raffle 
Yep, sneakers. Yep, sneakers raffle. I want to try to get the black ones. I mean, like, I couldn't get them in my friends and family uh, thing before, but and I like them, so I want to give them a shot. Plus, I want, like, a pair that I can actually, like, wear. You know what I mean? Like, the guavas, every time I wear them, I'm, like, like not – I'm being very yeah. careful. I'll just put it. I'm being very careful. I'm like that with the. I, I know like the '92s aren't as hype, but it's just like that colorway is just so hard to preserve. I would like to get another pair of the '92s. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like basically wearing a white suede, and it's like terrifying to walk around it. Oh, I tiptoeing. I'm tiptoeing everywhere. Yeah. Me, meanwhile, your boys over here, guava, guava less. <laughs> 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 well, wh- I mean. Yes, okay. Yeah, you are. I'm sorry. Guava. We're so sorry. Nah, <laughs> We're so nah, sorry, nah. folks. We're complaining about our guavas. <laughs> nah, 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 it's all good, man. It's uh, it's it's definitely an awesome shoe. But I'm, yeah, like I guess I'm looking forward to this Friday. Um, I don't know what else. Uh... It's 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 such a short uh, news week. I mean, do you guys want to go over? Oh, well, let's talk about these um, porcel not not porcelain ceramic and veneer dunks. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I mean, Let's bring them up. I got you right now. Uh, these, to me, are just uh, the hype being abused. Because these, yeah. these aren't, like, these are nothing to me. And, but I mean that in, like, a good way. Like, these are just, like, a dunk. They're supposed to be on the shelf whenever you walk into a store that sells dunks. But because these are dunks in 2020, these are going to blow out and resell for way more than they should. Well, those those are part of a pack from back in the days. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But what I'm saying though still stands where it's just like these aren't crazy. Like the there's no specific branding about them. There's no uh like story really attached. Like they, they came in a pack and it's clear that they're material based names, but like they don't reflect the material. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The veneers don't look like they're made out of veneer. The ceramics aren't made us don't look like they're ceramic. You know what I mean? So like they're kind of just like whatever. Mm-hmm. But the fact right. that they're dunks in 2020 and they're coming out, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, like you know, I'm gonna split someone's throat for these, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'll slit your throat for these. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys feel about them? You guys, I mean, I mean, I clearly just, you know, am whatever about them, but like, am I wrong? I mean, tell me. I mean, not. I mean, not really. Yeah, I. There was a time. When you could get dunks on on a shelf, but yeah, like you said, those days are kind of behind, behind us. No, but are these special? These like, let me know if they are. Back. I mean, I'll be I'm down to be wrong. Yeah, they're they special. Well, yeah, they. I mean, they, they were part of like the ugly, what the ugly duckling. Yeah, ugly duckling. Dunk, yeah, duckling. Yeah, ugly duckling. Yes. Yeah. So them, the plums, yeah, all of you know, they were part of that pack from back in the days. Um, I don't know. I, like I said, I think you know we're we're at that stage now where every where dunks are just the uh, the the end. Thing. It just is what it is, huh? Yep. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Oh, I mean, fair enough. I'm, I mean, it, it it was weird to me that they wouldn't put the plums with these. There might, I don't know what happened there, like because the plums themselves were sort of like a bigger deal because it was just them. Mm-hmm. So for these coming out later, to, at the same time. That might also be kind of like, well, what's going on? I don't understand. But I don't know. This Correctly, when when the plums came out in February, they were previewing these two. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember them. Because mm. uh, I might have missed it, but maybe maybe it was a week when you were gone. But we definitely like took a very quick look at these, or it was on the Discord. But I remember seeing these before. Uh, I actually I remember seeing the veneers, the green and purples before. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. They're going to sell out, um, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get a pair. Hopefully. I like the orange pair. Orange pair is nice. Yeah. Um, also, uh, I don't know how much you guys are into uh, the Drake OVO thing uh, with Bape, but we can go over that if you would like. Yeah, they uh, they dropped, the, uh, they dropped a, a collab the other day, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like... This is one of those weird ones where you know exactly what it is before it comes out. Not yeah, that, yeah. Um, you know, not it's, it has nothing to do with OVO more than BAPE because BAPE is just pretty clear in their guidelines when they do a co-branded project with somebody. It's like, all right, camo, everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Camo and your logo here. <laughs> yeah. 
Camo, your logo here. Uh, Ape head always. Um, I didn't see a baby Milo with this, but that's usually one there that they'll do. Milo. Oh, there was. Okay. So, yeah, was, see, that yeah. this just hit all the guidelines. Um, yeah. The kid they used in their ad, though, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I wasn't familiar with him up until now, but not, like young kid basketball player. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nice that they're bringing in, like, younger basketball kids to, like, be in these ads and stuff. Touches more to the actual demographic that they're speaking to. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and, like, you know, it's – this is just one of – it's a babe clap. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it, but it's it's nice. Yeah, I was uh, – I was – I did take a look at the website when, when the drop happened, uh, just out of curiosity to see how, like, you know – if I would be able to get anything in my size. And no, obviously not. It was like within a minute on both the OVO website and the BAPE website, they were both sold out. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, yeah. BAPE collabs are BAPE, so they're going to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, just, it was just made to go. I was upset that we didn't get any owl camo. I knew it was not going to happen. But like just owl heads on like instead of ape heads, I was like, come on, just a little little something. Mm-hmm. I originally thought they were going to kind of make like an like an like an actual owl head. So like the bait, they always keep that bait oh, head outline, but yeah, make yeah. it an owl. But you know, this is why I'm sitting here and we're talking about it versus it actually happening. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that's why we give Naruto uh, a bait camo. <laughs> <laughs> and they make they put OVO on a fucking sweater. Yeah, who knows? Whatever. Who um, knows? Is there anything else you guys got? Uh, ALD 550s came out this past weekend. Uh, a bunch of people got emails, uh, and then uh, New Balance announced that they're going to do a wider release. So if you didn't get your pairs, um, try and get them this week or next week whenever new balance announces where they're going i think they, this is going to tank the market the market's tanking on these i think i think if you want these i think these are for like personals i feel like isn't they're gonna they've flooded the market on these these but they're a beautiful shoe yeah yes they oh. are the, this was one of the ones that i think they were the quantity was for us it wasn't for anyone else other than us mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. absolutely what you love to see i mean you yeah who to- someone in the discord got like two pairs immediately uh, ZX Runner got yeah. two pairs, and then they accidentally sold, sent him a third pair. <laughs> I swear to God, it was it was in the Discord. Join the Discord so you can see the message, and then and he's gonna send us pictures when he gets them. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. I see. think that's kind of it. Uh, this was like a slow week, but like I'm not, I don't I don't want to try to drag anything out. Let's just yeah. tie the knot on this, huh? For sure. I mean, just a couple things that I was interested in is like they're retroing the Kamikaze Two, which you know it's that a, yeah. Sean Kemp's that was, what, last one was like thirteen. I have a pair of those; like those are great. So anyone who likes Reeboks in that October, you know, what I mean, shout out for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, BBC is also doing a question, but it, it's very BBC where it's like the orange or not orange, yellow and purple, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So just that last notes on that. But other than that, I mean, that's, that's kind of it. You guys have any final thoughts? Hypeless Heat? You guys want to do a Hypeless Heat? I don't know what you guys want to do. Uh, yeah, I have a, I have a Hypeless Heat this week. I was, uh, I was doing a little search in. Um, look up the brand 604. Oh, you're bringing us all the way back out. Okay. 600, yeah. 600 the number, and then the four spelled no, out or what? No, it's all spelled out. 604. Okay. There's a there's a Cypress Hill. They did like a Cypress Hill collaboration. Um, I like, I I'm not like crazy about these shoes, but I want to keep an eye on this company because I like the story behind like what they do. So basically, what they do for the most part is they take different. They'll take like different art pieces. Like they'll have like a, a designer come in and they'll make them like do an art piece, and then they'll break down the art piece into like four different shoes. And that's pretty cool. Uh, and then they also did a Cypress Hill one, which was kind of interesting. I like kind of like the colorways on like the, the green one. I thought it was kind of interesting. It's like a Canadian brand. Did you find it? No, you're going to have to send me a link yeah, when you on, can, but me. I got it right here. Okay. But yeah, I, I thought like I brought this because I thought Chris would enjoy kind of the story aspect of like the company. 
Uh, I was kind of inspired last week because we were talking about Warren Lotus. So I was like, let me try to find like a couple more like underground shit that like people don't really know about. Um, I sent it to you in the group chat. Oh yeah, here we go. Boom. Oh, these are nice. Hold up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they did like a Def Leppard collection too, which I suggest you take a look at. Like I'm not really a big Def Leppard guy, but they did like they took the covers and then they turned them into shoes. These are uh, very filling pieces to me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, like I figured these would be right up your alley as far as, like, a design. Like, it hits all of the boxes that, like, you want, which is, like, kind of a clean shoe with, like, a nice story behind it. And, like, boom, it's got that stoner element, which I enjoy. Yeah, it, it also sort of has, like, this mix between sport and dress, which I also like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go, go check out, like, some of their other stuff, too. They have a... Um, they have like if you check their collections they'll like you will see like the full art pieces that they, that they have people design which uh, kind of are a miss to me unfortunately Ooh, these fucking yeah. pink ones these yeah they're pink. nice dude those fire they're nice dude oh it's like a bong shape yeah oh and they they have the weed stash yeah, they have a weed tongue stash. oh man these guys are just winning my heart over second by second that's a good call yeah. luke yeah 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 I guess uh, I guess I will pick like the quadruple smoke, like they're just the the black and white one. I like the bud yeah. one personally, but like if for like I guess for the picture, we could just choose the black and white one. Okay, and damn, even that blue one is nice. All of it goes pretty hard, dude. It's a it's a nice collection. Uh, and for all those who are mad that they you're listening to the audio and you can't see the visual, this is why you get on YouTube. Get on there and so you can see the shoe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, Lawrence, I don't know if you're queued up. Uh yeah, uh mine is the uh, Converse Weapon. Ooh. Oh, classic! Ooh, All right, this is a nice one. Mm -hmm. I haven't thought about these in forever. Yeah, I had, I had a pair of those in high school, man. The the commercials that went behind those sneakers were amazing. Yeah. You know, with Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Isaiah yep. Thomas. You know. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, I mean these are these are classic old school. Mm -hmm. These are definitely like if you can't get the if you can't get the five fifties next week. Mm -hmm. I think you, you rage cop one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what's funny is I've got multiple DMs about rage copping, and that's like becoming a term. It yeah, ra be. rage cop is a thing, man. Yo, I mean, I, I, I privy to that episode that we did about, I knew in concept what it was, like angrily buying something, but like people uh -huh. hit me be like, Yo, I rage cop this. <laughs> yeah, rage cop. Fucking baby. awesome. Um, Chris? Hell yeah, that's a solid that? choice. Um, so, in this, in the essence of Boktober, um, I had a when I worked there, I had a friend who uh, he left and made his own company. It's called Freeman Platt. Uh -huh. This dude, um, Germ. Uh, hold on, let me get in here. Uh, they are not necessarily up my alley as far as footwear I would wear, but it was kind of off the. Luke, you honestly were the one that made me think of them because last week you stepped your game up with those dress shoes. Oh, shit. These are nice. These, that's ironic. I brought you something you might wear, and you brought me something I might wear. Yeah, you know, this is good. So, Jerm's uh, a great guy. I mean, he's he did um, – he was actually the guy who sort of, like, made the mid-2000s, like, Swiss Beats hype shoes. So, like, mm -hmm. he did the Kamikaze 3. Well, he was there and he was doing all that style of shoe for Reebok. And then on the side, he started his own brand. And these guys right here are sort of like the, I don't want to say like standard shoe. I think this was the first one. The Bordeaux was the first one he came out with. I might be mistaken, but I'm going to use this one because it's a fucking really nice shoe. And I've been looking yeah. at a lot of dress shoes lately just because uh -huh. I feel like I got to be more of an adult eventually. Like I'm telling you, man. There's going to be some places where I need a dress shoe. I have one dress shoe. It's a Rockport. I think they're not the hype shit. So I should get a hype yeah. dress shoe. Think about these guys. Yeah. I think these are, these are nice between as far as like loafers are like that nice in between, between like sneaker and dress shoe I like where they have a little bit of comfort. I like these a lot. I do. Yeah. They have tight. that like wild, they had that wild color way on that pa on the other page that I saw. I don't know what that was. It was oh, like, let's on, go on back the here. Right. Oh, side. This one, that this one? guy right here. What the hell is that? This what the like hell is even that? This looks like a crazy ass rug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, this is giving me like you know you know like the guy. This looks like like a shoe that the guy who's like trying to talk to your girl at the club would wear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you yes. know what I mean. I like really those. Pressing on your chick, but I'm into it. <laughs> I like them. 
Yeah, these are nice. Um, Shout out so, to Jerm. Yeah, Jerm's a great guy. Um, yeah, so the Bordeaux's are the this colorway of the, the Bordeaux I'm going to use, this quarter jogger. But uh, all these are kind of hype, dude. He makes, like, these really unique, like, dressy pieces that mm-hmm. can be dressed down nicely. So, like, see, even in the way this guy's wearing sweats, like yeah they still look good yeah there's still a middle ground for this brand where it's just like yeah you can wear your nice shoes but also like be comfy i like i like yeah so shout out to germ um trying to think uh any final thoughts before we get out of here uh if you're listening to this episode uh take a screenshot put it on instagram tag Mm -hmm. some podcast nyc so that you can uh we can repost you so you can get a little bit of love from us and we can get a little love from you uh i think that's about it from me that's it, man. Just go watch this Lakers game. Go Lakers. Uh, that's really it, man. So you can follow me at not that Cheney, uh, Lawrence at LZD three two five, Luke at Trevisus. Uh, the podcast is Sub Podcast NYC. Which, if you go on to that Instagram page, there is a phone number that you can uh, leave a voicemail or text us. There is an email attached to that, so you can email. We answer emails on um, live when we get them. And yeah, join the Discord, probably the main one. I mean, and like I said before, I think I said it last week or whatever week it was, but there's more Discords that you can join to find mm-hmm. other communities and you can all intermingle. Like if you're a New Balance guy, there's a New Balance one. Mm-hmm. Um, various ones for each brand. Find the ones you like and then come back to us and we'll all hang out and we'll discuss. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, but that's it. All right, so I'll see you guys next week, huh? Yes, see? sir. All right, peace.